Welcome back to more Snakey Bus with you and in the hot seat. Yeah, snaking it up. <sighs> Don't snake it up. <laughs> snaking it right on your put chair. It, <laughs> put it in your snake hole. Ew. Listen to some snake jazz. <laughs> Why is your jazz so poppy and upbeat? I don't know. I don't listen to jazz. I generally don't, but I enjoy it. I like something with a little bit of rhythm, a little I, quiet. You, you, you do, but you don't? Yeah, I'll enjoy it, but I don't go out of my way. I, I tried to listen to like chill music when I read, but I mm. can't concentrate on what I'm reading, so I don't anymore. Yeah... I'm more efficient if I don't listen to anything. I can sleep incredibly well listening to stuff, as long as it's not interesting stuff. If I've heard it before, sure, by all means. But if it's new information to me, I'm like, oh, I need to hear this. I need to know how it ends. <laughs> Stick it in my ear holes. <laughs> Come on, give me more. Just hook me up. Come on. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> hook, hook do, you, inside. do you like snakes? They're fine. They're fine. I don't have a phobia or anything. I'm fine with handling them. If they stay away from me, I'm fine with them. Oh, do you have a phobia? Are no. Are you afraid of snakes? Are you afraid of the danger noodle? I have a <laughs> logical fear of, hey, maybe I don't want to get bitten by something. Kind of like cats have a logical fear of pickles. Yeah. They're like, oh, it <laughs> could be a snake. puppies have a natural fear of lemons. Lemons? I haven't heard this one. Ooh. Why are they afraid of lemons? Because they're bitter. And they, <laughs> they they touch it once, then they realize, oh, that's a thing not for me. Bark, 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 bark. Okay. Yeah. Smart. <laughs> Forever more. Oh, now if people were only like that. They are. Hmm, ouch. I touched this and it hurt. Let me touch it again. Yeah. Maybe it won't hurt as bad. Nope, still hurts. <laughs> Maybe not as bad this time. No, even worse. Even worse. Yep. You don't know anyone like that. You know two people like that. <laughs> At least. At least. I if not more. Won't name names. Name. No. Haha. <laughs> I just named the name. Oh no. We're gonna get angry letters. <laughs> you said name. How dare you? How dare you assume? Uh, are you into oh. Fallout very much? Um, the video game by Bethesda. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. As long as I'm not playing Fallout 76 or <sighs> 1 or 2, it's fine. I can recall you had quite a bit of hype for 76 when it was going to come out. There, there's a big problem right now with it. Yeah? Yeah. What's the problem now? Um, people are purposely crashing the server to duplicate items. Oh, and that's so no fun for anyone else. If you're trying to play the game... You can't. You can't get anywhere. You can't do anything. That's because a lot of the stuff is like travel to here and it takes like half an hour to do that. Oh, darn or, it. Or if you're like in a raid and the server goes down, that's an hour lost. Do they have their own servers yet? Like individual servers for people or no? There is a paid service, but it is not great. Oh, uh, that's... It is also tied to the public service. That... So... Sometimes you can go into a private server and all your stuff will be looted already. Oh. You can't get anything because it's a recycled server. That, yeah. that's no fun. Nope. It had so much potential as a good game. They, they still haven't made servers so you can have mods yet. Because mm. they want to pinch every penny, take all your monies. Yep. Uh I hear they're making a new one right away because <laughs> they need the money. Um, I believe the roadmap is uh, New Elder Scrolls and then New Fallout. New Elder Scrolls and then New Fallout. Yeah. They're making a lot of money on the uh, uh, Elder Scrolls. Online? Um, no, for iOS and Android, the mobile game. Really? Uh, Blades. Oh, so they're going to try and... Get some stuff together via that. Yeah. This Get a bit of hype. Stuff being money. Yeah. Because they have a loot box system. Uh, they won't implement uh, yeah. that into a console release, but I could see them using the mobile to spur on purchases. 
because it's really easy to modify the Bethesda code to just drop stuff. Yeah. Oh my god, I don't like this map. Nope. Nope. That is scary. Uh, have you seen uh. the remake of Plants vs. Zombies? Plants vs. Zombies... Plants vs. Zombies 3. 3? For iOS and Android. No, I've seen 2. They changed how you can get plants. You can now level up your plants as cards. Oh. So they're now loot box drops. Oh, okay, okay. Or, or uh, purchasable transaction stuff. That... Microtransactions. I've seen that in two, and oh my god. It it's makes worse it... now. That's so bad. Yep. People just want to play the game. Why are you... Then you have to play one, because everything else has transactions yeah but one isn't as good like it's fine it's a fine but three game is in 3d now oh they changed the graphics too it's not like the pea shooters don't even look the same anymore oh that's not fun i'm gonna find you a screenshot of it okay. as i try and shuffle around in the chair schmuffle making weird noises uh but, but um whoops i went way off there maybe you shouldn't drive that way yeah, I don't know where the outer limits are, so it's all good. The outer limits? <gasps> the outer worlds? <gasps> we already talked about that. Okay, anyways, so why do they have to make loot boxes a thing? I know it Money. is a huge revenue increase, but it should not equate to an improvement of how well you play the game. It should only be cosmetic. That's how a lot of studios have done it right. They make it cosmetic purely. It, I it also doesn't... think it shouldn't be random. No. Or at least random in a way where you can You're... get the same thing over and over. Oh, duplicates. Yeah. I am... That's just evil. So against duplicates, especially if you get nothing in return. There, here's what it looks like now. Oh. That's odd. Yeah, it's kind of disappointing. Yeah. Why is it Hellboy as well? <laughs> I don't know. Eh, oh well, I guess you're fighting the devil or something. Oh, I'm loving these beats in the game. <sighs> yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> A lot of games are doing rebranding, it seems like. Gotta make the money. Yeah. We should make a game. When are we gonna write our movie script? I can make a game eventually <laughs> if I just buckle down. I've made games before. Yeah, try harder. Yeah. Do my work for me. <laughs> Do my a, work for me. I have a couple of really good ideas for games. I just have no interest in learning how to design a game. Mm. A lot of it is just you buckle down and try and try. I think I've told you my ideas before privately. Uh, Probably. And I don't want to say them out loud right now because we're recording and someone will steal it. It's so easy to steal ideas now, yep. especially if you have the know-how to make stuff. Yeah. If I had the know-how, I'd have so many games made. But I don't have what it takes to you don't know how. buckle down and do stuff. Maybe eventually. I am, however, uh, a long, long, long time ago, the only thing I knew how to do anything in was Excel. Mm -hmm. This is like during high school, back in 2003. I learned how to do that in a computer course. Mm -hmm. So I made a a random name generator. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I'm remaking that in JavaScript. Oh. Yeah. That's a fun little project. I until you realize how I'm doing it, and then you see how I'm doing it, and it'll make you angry. <laughs> okay. I I'm taking a, like, a name and breaking it up into like three or four segments, mm -hmm. and then shuffling through those segments to recreate names. Ah. Uh. However, I have huge... Uh, an array of names that the randomizer picks through. Oh. It's the hardest way to do it. Why are you doing it that way then? Because it's the only way I know how. I should let you look Fair at it. Fair point. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So if you look at the code, you're like, I can't read that because it's this huge array. It's like three pages long. Yep. And it's only getting worse because I'm adding more things to it. Do you think the... <laughs> So, <laughs> this is off topic, but okay. do you yeah. think that uh, indie games have become the new 
groundbreakers in the scene. So it used to be, oh, Nintendo, they're doing great stuff with gameplay and, oh, hey, look, uh, Sony and Microsoft are pushing the boundaries of graphics and all this other stuff. But it seems like it's just the independent people now that are pushing things forward because everyone has to play it safe. That's what I think it is, too. Um, First-party developers are playing it too safe. Mm -hmm. So people are trying to find a game that doesn't exist, so they go out and build it themselves. Screw they those guys. They find out how to make it. Yeah. Do it for themselves, I guess. And then you get people who make, like, Untitled Goose Game or The Outer Worlds or... Um, Um, what, God, it's the, um, uh, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Come on, you can do it. It's one of the farming games. Uh, Stardew? Yeah, Stardew Valley. That one. Uh, is that made because they wanted a new Harvest Moon? That's exactly what it was. Oh, okay. You hit the nail right on the head with that. Nice. You read the same article, I guess. I don't read. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to read. Uh only math. I don't, I don't like being an adult. People actually believe me when I say I don't know how to read. They're like, no, that's just a joke. I swear I can read. Give, give me a piece of paper. I'll, I'll write three words. The trick is jokes are supposed to be funny. Mm -hmm. Not something they could believe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, indie studios really need some more love. Oh yeah, can you name one indie studio? Uh, Face Punch. Fuck. <laughs> uh, can you name one. one game they've done? Uh, Gmon. Stanley Parable. Stanley Parable. That's such a good one. That started off as just a Gmod thing, right? Yep. Yeah. We've played it for the channel. Yeah, we beat it all the way. The Royal Wii. I think Brad played it. We played it. Did we? Yeah, we beat it all in one sitting. Yeah, th three or four videos, every ending. Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a good game. Yeah, it's fine. It's a walking simulator though. But it's a clever walking simulator. It's like if House made a walking simulator. <laughs> it's sassy. It's smart. But it, it's mostly the narrator. Yeah, he did a stellar job. Because there was a a game called Dungeons Dungeons Three, I believe. Um, but using the same narrator oh yeah narrators can really make or break stuff it's uh, I'd almost say it's like a, a ripoff almost of a bullfrog game called Dungeon Keeper huh <laughs> which you should look it up don't look up the iOS version cause that app is garbage huh yeah I was disappointed when I found it <laughs> Oh, look, I have to wait 24 hours to break a block. Nope, I'm going to go play the game. Let me just dig out my CD from a box and install it on Windows 10. Mm. Good luck. It works, though. Dungeon-making games are kind of neat. I've not seen a lot of them, though. We should play it. Yeah. Yeah, you know I'd be why? down to play that. Because I can uh, copy the, the ISO for the game and uh, play some multiplayer. Oh. Yeah, you can be like across town on your laptop, or you can bring your laptop here and we can play. Lappy tappy. Yeah. It's four player multiplayer. Oh. Yeah. So we can like call up Misty, get her on Discord, and we can all chat together. Yeah. Get ditzy. <laughs> or uh, I can send it to uh, Vinny, wherever he is, somewhere in the world. <clears throat> Fighting pirates. Pfft. Jeez, too good to play games, play fighting pirates. Yeah. God. Uh, I love that the uh, old commercials that were like, oh, you wouldn't download a car. <laughs> now you can, sort yeah, of. I would if I could. Yeah. You can, sort of. You can like download the blueprints. Well, you can 3D print and then you can metal print. Yeah, exactly. It's you stupidly could cast. expensive, but you could do it. You could cast everything yourself. Like, it'd be cool. But expensive as can be. Nah. <laughs> it's fine. It's all good. I'm just a bus. Uh, I always found it kind of redundant that they would put those warnings like, oh, don't 
steal this, mister. And it's like, I legally purchased this movie and you're BSing me away. Like, come on. I want to look at the fly cam for this one. How long is your bus? Pretty long. That's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I don't even think I went across town once. Oh, you could have gone out there, huh? Uh huh. It's not like San Andreas where it like locks you in until you get to like a certain length. Eh, it might. I don't know. <laughs> or uh, Vice City was the one that locks you into an island. Oh. Yeah. Uh, are we done? Is uh, that the last one? I think we we'll, might we'll, have. We'll end it on like a super triple length episode. Uh, we have a couple weird ones left. How weird? These three. Game mode not available for this map. Huh. Interesting. Well, we can pick up for one more no after No leaderboard's available for this map. Man. I like that menu, though. That's good. Mm-hmm. And then you can just spam it. <laughs> break everything. <laughs> All right. Well, um, we'll pick it up in the next. Yeah. With probably something new. Probably. So we're always playing something different. Remember yeah. our old tagline? Remember? Yeah, I don't remember. Our new one is stay stretchy. All right. Gross. Bye. Bye. <laughs>